Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. I love you, and I'm sending you a very big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane in this now moment. I want to share a real quick story that happened yesterday, and it's about darker energies or darker forces, entities, whatever you want to call them, that may you may be experiencing. I'm not stating this to kind of create that reality. I'm saying that we are in an energetic battle, so to speak. Uh, we are We are energetically dismantling darker forces, darker energies, darker consciousnesses. And when we do that, we may feel them in our field. And the last 24 hours, I have been feeling this darker energy or consciousness around my field, uh, sabotaging, trying to stop me from doing my work, right? Trying to infiltrate themselves in and screw things up. And I'll give you what, an example of what happened. So many of you know that I was supposed to go up to Tahoe because my electricity was being turned off yesterday. When I got to Tahoe, I left my bags at home. I had to come back home that same night. Couldn't do my work. Yesterday, the electricity went out. The electricity was only supposed to go out until 4 o'clock. 6 p.m. comes around. Electricity is still out. I go talk to the man at PG&E right down my street. By the way, my street is one of many streets in this town, thousands of streets. This tiny section of the street was being shut down and worked on yesterday. No other time in the year, no other street in this town, but my street on Friday, right before the biggest weekend that humanity is ever going to go through. So it's 6 p.m., biggest weekend we have, five events I have planned in the next couple days, and I have no electricity and no power, no internet. Not by accident. 6 p.m., I say to the guy, what's going on? And he says, we've had massive issues today that we don't normally have. We broke two um, chainsaws, or I don't know if it was a chainsaw or like a drill, whatever, two of them. We couldn't get past the roots, and now we can't get the transponder to reconnect. And I was like, well, are you guys going to have this done by tonight? We hope so. We hope so? It's six o'clock at night. I have no power on my computer, no internet, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I go to my mom's house. I pick up an emergency charger thing. I come home. The whole time I'm thinking to myself, this is not normal. Nothing about what's happening to me right now is normal. There is something external that is trying to sabotage me showing up. I don't normally think this way and I don't normally have experiences with entities, darker energies, darker forces. I never have it because I never bring it into my reality. But I could feel this consciousness. I could feel the energy in my street. I could feel the energy around my house. I could feel, I could feel the energy when I was driving home from Tahoe. I felt that something was trying to stop me. My mom said, why don't you ask the Galactic Federation of Light to stop them, to stop what's happening? I said, the Galactic Federation of Light honors free will. So they're not going to come in and stop these beings. I have to do it. I have to do it as the creator being. So I sat on my floor. I closed my eyes and I told these beings, these entities, these, this consciousness. I said, you need to leave now. You are no longer wanted here. I do not want you here. You do not belong here. I am commanding and demanding that you be gone. And the second I said that, the energy was gone. I kid you not, the energy was gone. I couldn't feel the energy around. I couldn't see the energy outside on the streets because I could see, I can see this energy. It's like this darker energy. I can see it almost gone. And then all of a sudden, 10 minutes later, I start to hear PG&E get packing up. They were packing up their trucks and they were starting to leave. It took two more hours before the electricity came back on. But within 10 minutes, they were starting to pack up because things had changed within 10 minutes. So I'm telling you this because if you start noticing or if you have been noticing that there are forces that are sort of energetic forces that you can feel, whatever you want to call them, but you can feel them sort of sabotaging or coming in or infiltrating. You're just feeling like there's something funky, man, that's not right. You are a free will being. They have to follow the universal truth of the universal law of free will. We're not victims. You see, we find ourselves falling into victimhood. This is happening to me. Now I don't have any electricity. Now I don't have any internet. These consciousnesses are trying to sabotage me, blah, blah, blah. No, hell no, we're not victims. We are creator beings and we tell anything that is around us that doesn't serve us to get the heck out. And it does because it understands free will. But the human has forgotten 
free will. They they forgot the power of saying sayonara, like goodbye, be gone, and it's gone. But if you're a human that likes the drama, if you like saying, oh, they're sabotaging me, oh, they keep doing this and this and this because I'm saying this and this and this, if you, if you feed off that, then you'll cre- continue to create that reality. If that's your storyline or your narrative, then you'll continue to create that. But if you would like to continue to expand with ease and grace, continue to speak up with ease and grace, continue to show up as the light worker, light warrior, star seed, powerful being that you're here to be with ease and grace, tell anything that is in your way to get out of the way. That's how powerful we are. Anything, including censorship, get out of my way, please. You know that song, move. Get out of my way. How does that go? Oh my God, it's so embarrassing. But you know what I mean, that song. Whatever it's called, shoot. Somebody will comment down below. Move. I don't know, anyway. Tell them to get out of the way. Just like that. Command it, demand it, and know that it is so. And anything that is around you that is of not of the highest light, anything that's sabotaging you, anything that is creating some sort of difficulty or obstacle for you to show up and shift humanity, move, get out of the way, okay? So this isn't to say that we're all gonna have this, but it is to say that whatever's going on right now, it's insane because I've never experienced what I've experienced the last 48 hours. They have been trying to stop me from showing up and I'm not one to talk like that. I'm not one to buy into that and I don't hold that in my reality. So. I want to share this because I want to be transparent and I want others to to really start to take control of their reality and choose and not be a victim no matter what is happening. We are too powerful right now to let anything sabotage us. We're way too powerful, okay? So remember that you are light. You are a free-willed being in human form and all you have to say is no more. We're freaking doing this. This is the most miraculous time right now. These next couple of days, OMG. I've got a powerful channeled message that I'm doing on my Patreon at 10 o'clock. I don't know what time it is right now. Eight, in a couple of hours, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 a.m. in California time. I'm going to be bringing in a channeled message from the Galactic Federation of Light. I was gonna write it out and they were like, no, we just want you to show up and we're gonna move it through you. So I'm really excited about that. If you want to join us, the link is in my bio or just go to my website and you'll find it. Um, also, we'll be doing a live YouTube today at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, live YouTube about um, the COVID vaccine. Um, and then we got some meditations on 1221. Anyway, I don't know why I'm sharing all that with you, but I love you. Thank you for being here. Um, and what a wild ride we are on. Mwah. Love you.